Transport and storage. Ozone products are generally considered to be dangerous goods as per the dangerous goods regulations. Specific road transport regulations must be complied with in terms of packaging, load safety and the labeling of dangerous goods. There is a danger that dangerous goods may be released during transport if they are not transported correctly. This may result in combustion, deflagrations or explosions. The transport of dangerous goods is governed by comprehensive and sometimes complicated regulations. However, if they are only transported in small quantities, exemption regulations may be applied. The most important regulation for companies in the construction and building sector is the regulation for small quantities. This regulation, also known as the 1000 points regulation, may be applied if, when transporting an individual substance or product, the highest quantity stated in the table is not exceeded. If different dangerous goods are transported in the same vehicle, the amount being transported must be multiplied by the associated factor. The calculated amount may not exceed 1000 points. The calculation is relatively simple. Packaging group 3 applies to most Alzan liquid plastics, which means 1 point per kilogram of liquid plastic. Catalysts generally fall into group 2, which means 3 points per kilogram. Particularly dangerous goods, for example some epoxy resins, fall into group 1. In this group, 50 points per kilogram must be calculated. This information can be found in the safety data sheets for the relevant products. The following requirements apply, among others, when transporting small quantities. The driver has received training in handling dangerous goods. Load safety. Safe storage. For example, packages are tied down. Ban on naked lights. Ban on smoking near the packages and when loading. Obligation to report accidents or incidents. Hazard label and UN number on each package. Availability of a fire extinguisher from fire class A, B, C, for example 2 kg of powder. These must be inspected at least every two years. It is recommended to carry the delivery note based on which the points were calculated. As a general rule, there is a ban on storing things together. This means that resins and hardeners, namely catalysts, may not be stored together. The material should be stored in well-sealed containers in a cool, dry and well-ventilated place.